In late February, Turkey announced it would no longer honor a deal made with the EU in 2016. The deal was intended to block migration routes from Turkey to Greece, the gateway to Europe. Since then, thousands of refugees have been pushed back, often violently, by EU and Greek border guards and are now waiting in inhumane conditions in the hopes of crossing into the EU. Displaced refugees generally reach Europe in two ways by braving the central Mediterranean route from Libya to reach the Italian shore, a route that has claimed nearly 4,000 lives, or crossing the safer Eastern Mediterranean route from Turkey to Greece. Europe, in response to the sudden influx, began to close its borders. European countries have witnessed a rise of nationalism, which has boosted the popularity of far-right parties throughout the continent. Through its silence or rancor, Europe has implied that Turkey alone should bear the humanitarian burden for the catastrophic consequences of the conflicts in the Middle East. In Greece, authorities have rounded up and transferred to two detention centers at least 1,974 people who arrived as of March 1st. This has become a crisis in itself. Upon their arrival to the Greek border, Migrants and refugees are being detained under the guise of quarantine measures. They are held without appropriate healthcare provisions and are placed in unsanitary conditions. The camps are a haven for COVID-19 to spread. And with limited access to water, electricity, and hygiene products in the camps, detainees are often mixed with other families in crowded tents. On the island of Lesbos, fires have destroyed Camp Moira leaving 13,000 homeless. Germany's interior minister, Horst Seehofer, said the fires at Moira were a sharp reminder to all of us for what we need to change in Europe. Migrants and refugees have been pushed back by Greek and EU authorities, detained in unsanitary camps, and are stuck in no man's land. Mm -hmm.